guys what's going on so I'm just chilling went into work for two or three hours this morning did very well brought the Z home gave it a bath Braden how you like that Z it's clean right yeah. hell yeah don't touch it don't even look at don't even look at it where's my dinner Who's we? You got a mouse in your pocket? Zip your pants up, weirdo. No, zip them up. Dumbass. God. All right. All right, guys. So we're doing Olive Garden. Olive Garden. So I don't know how it happened, man, but I thought GoPros were supposed to shut off. I left my, my new Hero 7. Went to fire it up and it was completely dead. I don't know if I left it on, but I thought they automatically shut off. Maybe I don't have that setting on. So we're having to use my uh, my Hero 3. Old Faithful, man. I've never had no problems with my Hero 3, man. Bought this thing for 20 bucks. Paid 200 for that one. I mean, I can't say I've had issues. I think it's more about the nut behind the wheel. User error. Get it? Nut behind the wheel. Me. <laughs> Anyway, so we're using the, the Hero 3, and uh, we're taking a look at this Ilasi. It's a little bummed. I didn't get the case. Mine just came in this box. Maybe they ran out of cases. And I'll tell you, the, the main reason I wanted this Ilasi, I, I know it's really nothing special, special as far as a mod. Although I was looking at it, and the, the sleeve is pretty modded, but we'll take a look at it. Um, it's because it's a Novorossi, and... You know, we may or may not be able to get this stuff anymore. So, I will not be running this one. And I haven't got my other one. I have another pull, uh, pull start version. Pull start? Run, pull start version coming for the LST. So, that's coming. I ordered these at two separate times. But, anyway. So, you know, y'all seen all this. In the box. Comes with the card. Comes with the Ilossi stickers. But we definitely won't be running this. That's why I picked up the... Uh, uh, LRP.28 get it modded and we'll run that in the truggies we may run this one day if but I mean you won't be able to get these anymore these Ilossies yeah huh I don't know I don't know Alfredo and salad all right anyway guys olive garden so um that's why i want want wanted this really because you're not going to be able to find these ever again and we're going to put it back together and we'll put it in the box and and forget about it kind of like my buddy elliot has the uh, os vegas edition i don't think he's ever run it said he'd sell it to me but i don't know what he'd want for it they were about 500 dollars new so let's just go over this thing here's the head it's got that LCG head on it milled out thinks it's really low it's crazy head button comes with a, a point 85 shim I think that's what it said point 85 yeah 0 0.85 shim a beautiful head man it's very nice and it is really just a, a a modded mildly modded from the factory or not from the factory but Daniel Ayalasi uh, Novorossi I don't know if it's a rolling or what it is P5 or something like that but this head is really weird where it's got the separation there I don't know I think my uh this is my P5. Let's check out one of these P5s. So even this P5, the head is still a little bit different. See how it has that separation right there? Right there. Not sure what that's all about. Uh, let's check this limited P5. The limited P5 is a little different too, but not the same as this one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the dealio is on that. 
But anyway, even the vert. Oh, it's like the Virtus. Man, I bet this is this is a Virtus. It's the same head as the Virtus. There you go. Look at that. Same head as the Virtus. So maybe it is. See how it's got that little separation right there. Not as many fins though. The Virtus has one. Oh no, it does here. It's just a side. So exact same head as the Virtus. I wonder if the internals are the same as the Virtus. The same block. I don't know. The Virtus is a badass nitro engine. So we'll get to the block in a minute. Here's the head button. It's got the the o-ring gasket on it I like those though over time they tend to deteriorate typical CT06 Novorossi code uh, 26037 stamped on the, the button here's the piston it's uh, what they call a, a team head on this piston very tight though on the rod movement on the rod is really tight I washed my hands before I did this I don't know what that says R4 on the rod It is a lapped piston. And it's got the indention on the top. I think they call that a, a team edition head. I think that's what they call it. I could be wrong. Alright. And the sleeve. Let's get up here in the light and show you all these. A lot of work on this sleeve, man. Alright, so there's the sleeve, back plate, pretty nice back plate, pretty typical but nice, here's our filled crank with the tungsten weight. Assuming that's tungsten or, or brass. But the crank is definitely modified a little bit. It's definitely opened up here on the edge. Or maybe not. Maybe not because the coating would be off unless they unless they modified it before it was coated but I doubt that normally if you have a modified crank DLC coated crank the DLC will be rubbed off where the modification is and I don't see none of that on here but it looks good
And there you go, guys. I actually think it's a good idea to pull your your brand new engines apart when you get them and take a look at them make sure that there's no issues or anything with it you know I've, I've taken these apart before where the actual wrist pin had popped out and um, you know if I would have fired that engine up with that wrist pin in there it would have destroyed a brand new engine so always to me you know unless you're just brand new at it then maybe not but I'm always going to open up my engines and uh, check them out before. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I just waking hi. up. I sleepy baby. I just waking up. Mm -hmm. You love the papa? Huh? <laughs> you love the papa? Yeah, no, wake, wake up, you. sweetie. Yes, you are. You like it. Your hair is crazy, though. You got crazy hair. I like my Say hair. Hi. Thank you. I'm not sure about this camera. Hi, Hope. Hi, baby. What are you doing? You waking up? <laughs> you got some static electricity going on there in your hair. Okay, never. That's the way it is. <laughs> That's the way it is. This is the way it is. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, feel free to hang out and look around if you'd like. Yeah. Look around if you'd like, baby. Look at those big wide eyes. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm not too sure. I love my papa. What are you doing? <laughs> all right, guys. So anyway, you know, I'll, I'm gonna check all my my engines when I get them, just to make sure, man. I mean, you wouldn't think that, but all it takes is that wrist pin to pop out of there, and they can pop out. It's happened to me before on engines where I've put them in. Of course, I'm not an engine builder or anything, but I have had them pop out on brand new engines. And I fired that engine up and it destroyed it, destroyed that engine. So make sure you always check them, guys. Check them to make sure that, that they're good. I mean, do what you want, but that's what I'm going to do. Let me answer this. Hello? 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 That's all about. All right, guys, let's take a look at this block. I did not take the uh, carburetor out. I didn't want to break that seal on it yet. But you see the carburetor. It's got the high-speed needle on the side. Capped off here. It has full ceramic front and rear bearings. Not sure about the exhaust port here, if anything's been done to it. Nova 21 plus 2. Plus 2. So, I don't know what that is. But, there you go, guys. So, it's a, a two-needle carb. Don't have that pesky third uh, mid-range needle. It's just different the way they have it set up here. The high speed on the side. So, alright, guys. That's about it. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands again. We're going to get this uh, put back together. Make sure there's nothing on it. Make sure it didn't pick anything up. Um, it came with these Venturi's right here. I'm not sure which one is in it. Um, I'm not going to take that. Off. Yeah, well, let's take it off. And it looks like, which one is that, guys? Is that the seven and a half, the red one? can't see it it's the eight I'm sorry the red one is the eight eight millimeter Venturi in here all right guys that's going to be about it I appreciate each and every one of y'all when we get the uh the LRP 32 I ordered some other stuff too I ordered some works number five plugs uh Nitro House has them Nitro House has those works uh number five turbo plugs and I also ordered some LRP 
uh, platinum iridium, but not the fives. I ordered the fours. Number four, medium. So number fives are uh, medium to cold. I didn't want to go with the number threes, so I like the fives on the the works and the Novorossi stuff. But on the um, LRP, the standard glow plug, because they're not a turbo plug, I want to go with the number four. So A Main has those. A Main has all the has the threes, the fours, and the fives, and the LRP platinum iridiums. So, all right, guys, and then a few other things. The LRP 28S coming that we're going to send to Lance. That's it, man. We uh, we um, was letting this techno buggy from yesterday dry silicone spray but she's all dry and ready to go and um, I hope I didn't mess up my hero my uh, 7 but it seems to be charging fine right there I don't know how that was left on but um, that's it guys so next rip we will be ripping the FT360 since I redid you know refreshed it and rebuilt it the, the differentials and all that we've only done one like five minute rip with this new pipe so we've got a uh, brand new clutch in there brand new clutch carrier brand new uh, mount right there on the clutch I think it's a transmission mount we got the new upper uh, rear bulkhead and um, yeah we still have the modified uh, Bartolone Racing V2 glory hole on there that, that John modified for me and um, that's it we'll run this next man the the great c9 vp um uh ethanol free race fuel and of course our dominator uh two stroke oil right here dominator only guys bones brew my choice of nitro fuel for now uh some people i know are working on a new fuel we will check it out um, right now I'm pretty stuck on the bones, but I have no problem sampling other fuels. If I find something I feel is better for a basher, what I do, you know, modified nitro engines and whatnot, then hell yeah, I'm going to try it, man. Uh, certain people say that it's a good fuel and I should try it. I will try it, 100%. I'm not going to not try something just because I'm, I'm stuck on that. I get nothing from Bones Brew. Um, I'm a customer just like everybody else, so uh, Bones is great fuel, but I'm not opposed to trying something else if, if someone asks me to, and we'll, we'll check it out, and we'll try it right here on the Woogie Nitro channel for sure, so, alright guys, that's about it, I don't think, I may run my E-word a little bit today, I'm sorry, my daughter's E-word, my daughter's E-word, not mine. But it's mine too. But we may run it in a little bit. My daughter's been wanting to run something. It's such a beautiful day outside, man. I'd really love to get out and do something. But when I come home, when I get through with all my appointments, I still got to kind of be on call just in case we pick up a, a same day appointment or anything like that. So, all right, guys, that's going to be about it. Remember, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And um, treat people the way you want to be treated. And let's all try to get along, man. I know a lot of people from what transpired over the past day or two might be a little bit butthurt or whatnot, but it is what it is, man. It's, it's, well, I'm not going to even go into it, man. You're, you're not going to, you're not going to diss and talk crap about one of my mentors, John Bodergeau. You're just not going to do it. I mean, you, you can do it, but I'm not going to have anything to do with you, man, because there's no reason, because that man paved the way for us. And that's all there is to it, man. So, I'm out. Peace. Shout out to my boys, David RC, Family Affair, as always. Uh, Crucial RC. Um, all the rest of y'all, man. Nitro Mike. Uh, Island Duke, haven't given you a shout out in a long time, man. Appreciate all your comments. Uh, Smith RC. Um, wonder, been wondering what's going on with you. I saw the last video about the, the, the boat upside down. But, um, yeah, appreciate all y'all, man. We'll see you in the next video, man. Hopefully a bashing video. I'm out, guys. Peace.